Hi, this is Justin with the on-screen takeoff essentials.com. Um, in today's lesson, I want to teach you how to use layers to control the visibilities with your takeoffs. Um, one of the things that you're going to want to do when you're doing takeoff is you're going to want to see different things at different times. So for example, I've got my sample building here and I've already gone through and I've taken off both ceilings and flooring, but they're on the same floor plan. And sometimes you're going to want to see the ceilings and sometimes you're going to want to see the flooring but right now if you just create your items and you leave them on the default layer over here then all you can do is turn those on and off but you can't see one or the other they just kind of overlap so what you want to do when you're creating your takeoffs is you want to set the layer so anytime you're doing flooring, ceilings, base, walls, anything like that, always put it on different layers. That way you can turn it on and off because you never know when you're going to want to see one of those things separately. So when you come through and you create your conditions, uh, make sure that when, whenever you create a condition, go ahead and set both the type and the layer so you don't have to come back and do it later. Um, so all you're going to do is you can either click the little magnifying glass and then this window will come up and you can click on new and you can type in your layers and I always organize my layers by division that way I can find stuff later otherwise you end up with this big long list of stuff and you have to go hunting for it and that'll that'll cost you a lot of time so what I would do is I would set your layers up by division and then by type so you'd create a ceilings layer like this and since I already have my conditions I'm gonna go ahead and reassign them real quick um, just for times for time purposes um, but if you don't want to come in and use the magnifying glass you can also just type in what you want this to be and then it'll pop up a little window saying the division wasn't found would you like to add it and you can say yes and that'll add your division in the, or your layer in there as well that way when you take your items and you put them on different layers like this you can turn one or the other off. So if you just want to see ceilings, you can turn off your flooring layer and now this shows just your ceilings. Or if you just want to see your flooring, then you can turn your ceilings layer off and um, just turn your flooring layer on. That way you can just see where the flooring is on this. But um, this is one of those things that it's really important to plan ahead and think ahead about what you're going to want to see separately. So as you set this up, be putting these on different layers and just kind of get in the habit of doing that. And that way you'll just kind of do it automatically whenever you're creating your new conditions. And that can be a huge time saver down the road. So hopefully this video was helpful to you. Um, if you wouldn't mind clicking that like button below, but also uh, make sure to check out the on-screen takeoffessentials.com. Um, for that full course teaching you how to use on-screen takeoff, not only how to use the tools, but also how to save time, some best practices and things that you can use to really save time and spend less time doing takeoff so you can move on to the other parts of your job. Um, so thank you very much for tuning in. I really appreciate it, and uh, we'll catch you in the next video. Thanks.